How's it going guys? JP here. Welcome to Body Bags. Thank you for joining me this October 31st. It's Friday and it's Halloween and that is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, the film that I'm reviewing is not so awesome. This is Halloween week, which means we are reviewing films themed with a Halloween setting uh, within the film. So, the film that I reviewed looks bad and it is Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, from the year 2004 with the tagline of evil lives in everything I'm gonna try to explain this one so you have a group of friends who accidentally run somebody off the road a uh, car accident they die a year later leading up to the days leading up to Halloween a killer with a pumpkin is stalking and killing them one by one they must band together and somehow stop this thing I'm not going to lie, I used, I used the back of the cover to kind of uh, piece together that plot because this film was hard to watch and it was hard to pay attention to. It's one of those films where you have to keep reminding yourself to look at the TV and not on your phone, not looking away from the TV, not looking at the ceiling, not looking at the floor. Every two to five minutes, you have to tell yourself, hey, you're watching a movie, you got to focus. And then repeat, 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 keep telling yourself every two to, two to five minutes because your brain just wanders away from the boring shit that's on the screen. Uh, so I had a hard time paying attention to this one. I will not shut a movie off. If I do, I'll always come back to it. I'll always finish it. But God damn it, it was hard to watch. The editing is awful. The acting is atrocious. The camera work is pitiful. There are like a handful of kind of like scenery shots that look okay, you know, sunsets and, and shit like that, but I mean, okay, the, it, if that's like the one thing you're looking at that, that is positive in this film, it's pretty awful. The, the editing is just so sloppy. It feels like a student film or worse. Uh, this was put out by Lionsgate. They never should have put this out. How can you justifiably sell this to somebody? It is that bad. It's not beneath the Mississippi bad, but it's damn close. Uh, there was a okay scene. I guess like the lead character has some sort of like subconscious connection to the killer or with the killer or it's him or something like that. Uh, and he carves this jack-o'-lantern and it's this nasty looking jack-o'-lantern and that scene was a pretty cool um i will say maybe if you chop this film down to five minutes you would have a really 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 basic and possibly below average short film uh because maybe you had enough scenes to make a five minute movie out of this and there was kind of a head crushing scene by a car it wasn't good it didn't look great for no budget i guess uh, it looked funny. This is not a so bad it's good. This is not a watch it with, uh, you know, <laughs> alcohol or, or drugs. This is to just never watch it. This film is not the slightest bit entertaining. It has n no redeemable qualities and it has absolutely garbage. This film is a 1 out of 10. Avoid this shit. Do not watch it. Uh, the cover is awful, the tagline's awful, the description on the back is awful. So, what a crappy film to watch on Halloween, but that's the way the ball rolls. For every 800 of these bad films you watch, you get something like The Battery. So, it's worth it for that, but damn it, why? Why does this exist? It's, I can't even... I, I don't know, I just feel stupid after I... I spend that much time watching something that I can't even pay attention to. So thank you, Jack O'Lantern, for making me a little bit more dumb. Thank you.